Hi lovely, Hillary here, and today I'm going to share my top 10 favorite plushies. So I love all of my plushies, don't get me wrong, but there are some that mean a little bit more to me than others, and um, it's either because how I got them or uh, maybe they were just really hard to find and I missed them the first go around, and so finding them, you know, was a big deal, and so that's what these are. I love all of my plushies, and I actually have a couple honorable mentions because they do, they're very special to me, but like, it's different. So, here are my top 10 plushies. Boop, boop. Okay, first one we're gonna do is Shaboom Pom Pom Purin Crepe Mascot Plushie from the Pom Pom Purin Cafe in Japan. So, I actually first saw this little critter on eBay and someone was selling him this little fella for like $50 and I was like wow that's stupid cute if I ever find one I want it and I had kind of basically decided like I'm never gonna find him and it was from the cafe like several years ago so I didn't expect to get him okay fast forward I become friends with this nice person on Instagram <clears throat> Excuse me, and we share like a nice common bond over loving Sanrio and loving cafe exclusives and all this. And she says, Oh, hey, I happen to have an extra pom pom purin crepe mascot plushie. Would you like it? And I was like, Aah! And I freaked out and I said, Yes, yes, please. Oh my god. And then I got him. And I love him because the detail's excellent. He's in this little crepe thing. He's got a strawberry, he's got whipped cream, he's got the little cookies on the side and like bananas and marshmallows and stuff. And he's just, the detail's great on him. I just think he's so cute. So very pleased with that. Jigglypuff. So this is Jigglypuff from the uh, Echo Neko Dolce. Poke, Poke Neko Dolce. Excuse me, I misspoke. Poke Neko Dolce. Thank you, Tag, for telling me. Line that was released many years ago. Um, this was like released right when I was just beginning to buy stuff from Japan and use personal shoppers. And I didn't understand how expensive things were, quite frankly. And I was like, 20 bucks for a tiny plush? Not worth it, I'm not gonna get it. Fast forward, and I keep looking for it, and I keep looking for it, and I regret never getting it, and I hate everything, and I've been looking for it for years, and then boom! She pops up on Depop for $20. And I was like, ah! oh my God, I'm making a lot of like gaspy noises, but because I have a sore throat, they sound really scary, I think. I'm sorry, um, microphone's up here. Uh, okay, anyway, yes, I go, ah, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. She comes to my home. I love her with all of my heart. And now we are one and I love her so much. She is so cute. I love the detail. Again, I love the design of this, this collab. Um, her little eyelashes, her giant bow, her little microphone. It's just perfect. So, love this little baby. Next item, I'm counting these as one because you can't get one without the other, right? They're twins. So, these are adorable little lollipop critters from Japan. My friend Barbara, she went to Japan and she was sweet enough to allow me to send her a way too long list of things like if she happens to see them, grab them for me. And this was one of them. And I love these so much. I actually, before Barbara went and got them, I ended up buying knockoffs from AliExpress and like the quality was okay, but like you can definitely tell a knockoff versus a legit Sanrio plush, especially with something like this where there's details like beads on it. And I'll tell you, Sanrio authentic stuff, it's sewn on. It's sewn on, these little beads are sewn on. You can see it. The fakes are super, or not super glued, they're um, hot glue gunned on. So they have like wispies and things all around them. So in case you're wondering, if it's got glue gun wispies, it's probably not a real one. But these guys, so cute. My friend Barbara got them for me. She is the best and I just love them so much. You probably have seen them. They usually hang over here. So 
little babies. Love these fellas. <clears throat> okay. San Riso. San Riso. Hmm. San Rio recently did a Tuxedo Sam Cafe um, line, and this was actually like my oh my god, Tuxedo Sam, super cute kind of moment. So. I wish I could have gotten the big plush, but the big plush was so stinking expensive. Uh, so I got the little one, and I just love him to bits. I love the coloring, he's pastel, that's amazing. I love the whipped cream, I love the sprinkles, like everything about him is perfection to me. So I, I just love him so much. No cool story about this one, a personal shopper picked it up for me. I freaked out when the package came, that's my life, he lives back here. Yeah, you can tell, like there's one, is it right here, one empty spot, and that's where one of these plushies is, but we'll get there. Next is this adorable Kagimian plush mascot fella. So, y'all know I love Kagimian. Um, this was a specialty, like, series release. She's super cute. I love that her she has a little crown. I love her little bow. Her face is kind of like, mm, she's all happy. I love the character in general. This one was just really cute. It's hard because, you know, it's hard to find these, this character, like, merch and stuff. So, I've been getting, like, a lot of little plushies because they're just so expensive. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's easier to just buy a couple little ones. So, I love her. She's so cute. And I'm very pleased to have her in my collection. I got her from a personal shopper in Japan. Next is... This adorable Hang Yodin crocheted little fella. So, this girl, I met her through Instagram, like I meet all my friends basically. Uh, and she wanted to do a trade, and I was like, heck yeah, let's do a trade. So, um, I sent her, I think, like a couple pins, but she made me this, and like it is, it is one of my most treasured possessions. I'll include the link to her shop down below because she sells stuff. But he is just so cute. Oh, and I didn't include, okay. It came with, because all Sanrio characters have like a little BFF, right? Um, his is this little octopus. And so she made both of them for me. And I just think he's so cute. And she did such an amazing job. And the fact that somebody, I mean, I don't crochet. I don't know how long something like this takes, but it has to take some time, right? And the fact that somebody took the time to make it for me and, you know, I don't know, I just, it makes me feel so special and I just love it so much. So this is one of my most treasured little guys. I love him. He's so cute. Okay, so I will say this was the intro, essentially, to my personal shopper <sighs> obsession problem, whatever you want to call it. I saw that they were releasing Laudere stuff. It was a Laudere collab in Japan. Me and my friend Barbara were like, holy crap, that's cute, let's get a couple items. So we went in together uh, on shipping and then we both got a couple items. And this is seriously like the cutest thing in the world. So she's got a macaron hat. The detail on it is beautiful. It's got the little L. Her dress even has like a little uh, like apron. It's got beading on it. It's got a bow. If you lift it up, trying not to be indecent, it's got detailing on the dress, and then even the shoes have little beads on it. Like, it's so amazing. Oh, and in the back, the back has a bow. Like, it is such a high quality piece, and it was quite expensive. But, <coughs> I'm so sorry. But it was worth it to me, and I just, I cherish her so much. So, very pleased with this one. If I could have gotten more from this line, I would have. But it was all quite quite pricey. Um, it's hard with a lot of those collabs, like, you know, personal shoppers, I get it, they need to make it worth their while, they need to make money off of what they're doing, so they have to jack up the prices, and for specialty collabs, you know, they know that it's going to be harder to get, and it's a limited item, and da 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 da, so they can jack up the prices more. So, like, even for this one, she was, like, 25 bucks, which is really hard to justify, but if you also think, like, I've had her for a couple of years now, and... You know, I cherish her so much, like the joy that it brings me. So I'm like 25 bucks in the grand scheme of things for how much I love it. Well, I've thought about, and this is so grim, I know. I thought like, if there was a fire, what would I do? And I, 
and make sure my family's okay, but your girl would also grab her external hard drive for all of her photos and grab a couple plushies and maybe a couple figures and get her butt out. Like, that is who I am. And home skillet would come with me. So that's how much I live her. So there you go. Only a couple more items. Okay. <sighs> Let's do this one. Again, not a super cool story for this one. Um, I recently discovered a personal shopper from Hong Kong, which is super cool. She does Hong Kong Disneyland stuff. So got her. This is Cookie, Meet Cookie. She is a Duffy friend. She is a doggy who likes to cook. I thought her outfit was super cute. The detailing again is just perfect. She's kind of like waving like, hey. And I just love her so much. She's like one of my new favorite um, Disney characters. So, okay, this one is super special to me. <clears throat> this is a Pum Pum Purin. It was a Valentine's Day uh, plush. And again, my friend Barbara, who is the best, she went on a trip to Japan and it was months after February. And um, actually, no, this was a white day. White day slash Valentine's Day, I think. Anyway, um, she was there. And basically these were pretty much gone because it had been months. But she happened upon a Sanrio that had this one in the window on display. And Barbara, who speaks limited Japanese, tried to communicate with the shop people like, please, 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 my friend wants this, please. And like showed photos of me and my request and how it would make me happy. And she was saying like, I guess Tomagotchi, which I played with Tomagotchis all the time. I had no idea that means like friend, I guess. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know, I should have Googled it. But she was like, ah, friend, please, please. And, and they were nice enough and sweet enough. Like they had to pull in like a manager there, but they said, okay. And so she got it for me. And the fact that, like, let's be real. Some people would say, yeah, sure. If I see something, I'll pick it up. But if someone said no, or it wasn't convenient, like a lot of people, and I get it, a lot of people would just say, okay, cool, it didn't work out, that's fine. But Barbara went out of her way to try and communicate in her broken <laughs> Japanese to get this for me and like beg them. And it was the last one and she put so much effort into it and everything, I just, it warms my heart so much to know that she cared that much to do that. And so to me, like that's, that's really sweet. That's wonderful. Shout out to my girl, Barbara. Um, she also has a store. She makes really pretty jewelry. So I'll, I'll include a link to it down below. But like that to me is just so amazing. And the quality of this thing is like incredible. So like, I don't know. I'm very, I'm very, very lucky. So the, the plush itself, you got your little cookie. Uh, the sprinkles are all like stitched on. They're like embroidered on. He's got a whipped cream with little sprinkles that are beads that have been sewn on. He's got a little cherry and the cherry leaf has been sewn on. And then on the back, he's got like a wafer cookie thing, a strawberry and another cookie. So like the quality is just amazing. And he stands up on his own, which is rad because I've had plushies in the past that do not. So that's cool. And then the last top 10 is this Tuxedo Sam. Whoa! He is pink, he is gorgeous, I love him. So this was something my wonderful, wonderful friend Laura, who actually lives in Japan, helped me get. Um, Laura, oh no, there she goes. Sorry, Cookie. Um, Laura's great, and it's one of those things when you have somebody who lives in a foreign country and you always want stuff, like, I don't wanna bug her. I, I don't ask her to pick up stuff for me because I don't wanna like take advantage of it and I respect her as a, as a friend and all that. And so I try not to just, I just try not to ask, right? But she was going to pick up stuff from this collab. It was a um, Etoile et Griot, I don't know if I said that right and I apologize, but uh, like collab and I loved it so much and I wasn't seeing any personal shoppers do pickups. So she was already picking stuff up and she was so sweet to get me this and then a button. So to my girl, Laura, thank you so much. I'll link her below because she has a great Instagram and I love her, but uh, yeah, this is my baby. He's pink, which is glorious. He's got a milkshake. I love him. He usually sits here. Whoop. So that's why that spot's empty. Okay. 
Last couple honorable mentions because they're like very special to me. So this little Hello Kitty, let me tell you about her. So she comes out Wah! and she's in a cupcake and that's so cute. My friend Kelsey was moving and she happened to have this, which is like super random, but she was like, I'm moving. I think you would like this. Would you like this adorable cupcake Hello Kitty? And I was like, heck yes. So it had been sitting in her room for like a long time and she gave it to me. And it's so special because it, you know, it makes me think of her. She lives pretty far away now and I don't get to see her as often. So at least I have like a little memento that I see and I think of Kelsey and she's my friend and I love her. Oh, well, so she has a blog. I can link her too. I'm just going to have so many links. So many links. Last honorable mention. Shaboom. Snorlax. So this is my sweet little baby Snorlax. Um, he is actually from my youth. I was going through some stuff at my my dad's house, like boxes of stuff that I had just, when he moved, that just got packed up and put in, in storage and in the attic and all that. And he was one of them. And it was so great to find him because I just, I remember being younger and loving Pokemon and dreaming of a world where Pokemon were real. And so having plushies of them almost felt like that it just kind of made it more real, I guess. So for me, Snorlax was like a cherished little fella. And so being able to have him now in my collection is really, really special because at one point, like when I was a teenager, I had decided like, ooh, I'm so cool. I don't need my toys from my, my childhood. Then my parents get rid of everything and that's like a huge bummer. So he's one of the few things I have left from when I was younger. I have him, a little Hello Kitty plush. Um, oh, two other Hello Kitty plushes. It's like Dear Daniel and Hello Kitty from McDonald's from when I was younger. And then some Littlest Pet Shops toys from when I was younger. But that's it. And so he's just really, really special to me. And I love him. Schnorlax. So that's it. Those are my plushies, my top 10. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can keep up with all my videos. And ring the bell so you can be notified when I post. Um, yeah. I really appreciate your support as always. You know, it makes me feel... Uh, I don't know, it gives me more energy, I guess, to make more videos, and I really just appreciate that. So thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye!